Good morning, everyone. We are just going to wait for a couple of minutes till everyone uh, be there. So just wait for us. Okay, so one more minute to go. We'll start in a bit. Mm -hmm. More people are coming. So many people are joining us from different parts of the world. So I think the timing is different. So we'll just wait for a couple of more minutes and then we will start. Thank you for joining us to our webinar. I hope that you are having a good day so far. Hello everyone, so we can start now. Okay, so uh, good afternoon everyone. My name is uh, Riman, I'm the Assistant Enrollment Manager. Um, thank you everyone for joining us for today's webinar where we will be discussing the five reasons to study hospitality. It's a very good opportunity for all of you to get to know more about Dubai, for those who do not live in Dubai, to get to know more about the hospitality and more about our academy. So thank you one more time. I just I, I one request uh, for all those who have questions to keep all your questions till the end. Uh, we will give you time to ask all your questions. So uh, we will start with one of our uh, uh, senior uh, uh, lecturers, uh, David, who will give you a presentation on the five reasons to study hospitality, and then our enrollment director who will be discussing more about our academy. Good. Good afternoon. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to the Academy webinar. My name is David Butterton. I'm, as uh, mentioned, a senior lecturer here at the Academy and delighted to be able to walk you through the five key areas of why you would want to think about a position or a career in hospitality. So five key reasons to study hospitality. And I think it's really important to think about some of the areas and think about what you want from your career and trying to align those areas with the ones that the industry has to offer. So I think it's like it matching um, your criteria with the industries. So first off, at top of the list, and these were considered to be uh, the world, the, some of the key areas that I considered to be very important. The first one is that today in 2018, 
the hospitality and tourism industry is the world's largest employer. It's the world's largest industry and growing larger day by day. And that means that as countries um, enter the hospitality and tourism market, so they require obviously talented, professional, robust, qualified individuals for that particular market, for the market, the hospitality and tourism market. And so our industry is fed by institutions and the Emirates Academy is in the top 10 of the world's finest hospitality schools. So to think about that feed from schools like us into the industry, that connection and correlation relationship, you are being prepared for um, an exciting career from one of the finest schools in the world. So it's that kind of pedigree reputation that uh, uh, is important to make note of here. So number one is from the Emirates Academy, you are entering via uh, us to the world's largest industry and growing day by day, incidentally. Uh, the second one that's worthy of mention, not only are we the world's biggest industry, but we are having the number of jobs that are created by the year 2022. There's going to be an additional 73 million jobs globally. So that's a significant number when you consider that those are on top of the existing millions of jobs that are currently available. There are now 73 new ones being born. So that's considerable and that opens up all sorts of chain opportunities for the people that are in the industry to move up the ladder and for the people that are um, entering the industry, those uh, gaps become available, those opportunities become available. So, um, you know, the knowledge that you're going to train and develop in an industry that is the large world is player by one of the best schools in the world with 73 million jobs opening up in the next five years, should give you a really important window to consider the, vi the viability and feasibility of finding something that you love in, the, in an industry that has so much to offer. So growing by day, big, big, big global uh, opportunity to travel, et cetera. So again, huge number of jobs opening up, mainly actually um, in, the, uh, in the Asian Pacific regions, 44 million of those 73 million jobs. But the Emirates, of course, uh, uh, 2.2 million, which is considerable, um, and nine something in uh, the North American market. So we're getting good traction there. The third uh, area that you might want to consider hospitality and tourism, and more specifically Dubai, being a global destination for hospitality and business, and also, of course, tourism. Um, the Middle East is the, uh, the sleeping giant, as I like to call it. Uh, there has never been a time more exciting than today that the Middle East is giving an opportunity to enable people that are enrolling and that are growing through our industry training to build a life for themselves here in the Middle East. A fabulous, exciting, rich, uh, playground to learn your trade, learn your craft, and develop a very, very fine career quickly. And the uh, advancement on the career ladder is extremely progressive because of the number of new builds, the number of hotels, the number of expansion projects that are in uh, that are in pipeline here in uh, the Middle East. Certainly in the Emirates is considerable. We are, I think, number two in the most worlds. Um, the, the world's most uh, visited city, a visited location. And because of that, we are seeing obviously more growth in our arrivals, more growth in our opportunities for business development. And again, that in turn requires more talented staff, human capital, and of course that is uh, key. So that uh, should also be considered. And Dubai, having lived here for a number of years, is a fabulous place to live. It's fun, it's lovely and warm, there's great people, it's very ethnically diverse, and you're gonna have a lot of time and fun here. And, you know, there are tax benefits. You're not gonna pay loads of tax on that hard-earned cash that you're gonna earn. Moving into the fourth key reason as to why hospitality is such a great industry to be part of, um, sometimes when I meet people, students, and certainly parents, they say, well, you know, what am I going to do when I've gone through two, three, four, whatever years training? 
What is the for me at the end of it? And it, you know, it's a great question. I think really important to mention, you know, it's almost like going into a sweet shop and choosing any jar off the shelf and any one's good and sweet. The, the, there's so many great opportunities in so many areas of our business, whether you are a slightly quieter, reserved individual or that you're very gung ho and that you're very out there and you want to mix with and you know find your spotlight, there is a place for you anywhere, back of house, front of house. The industry is wide, it is uh, you know, it is varied and it is extremely diverse from cruise ships to hotels to resorts to golf to retail to um, event management to banking to customer service. The list goes on and then you can further split it. So if you're interested in accounting and finance, again, huge area to be in. If you're interested in human resources, again, opportunity there. If you're interested in marketing, digital marketing, you're interested in um, social media marketing, operations, food and beverage, culinary um, operations, that the list's endless. We could go on and on and on. And then there's the roles that sometimes people don't always think about. And those are the roles like in theatres and event planning and all those areas of special and unique destinations that sometimes get forgotten. Um, you know, and if you're a little bit of a player that likes something a little different, well, the industry can definitely make that uh, special for you. So um, the diversity of job roles is wide. The opportunities are considerable, um, and like I said, the uh, there is no end to the opportunities that you can uh, that you can do it, and no end to the opportunities where you can do it. And then finally, um, this last one, which sort of sums up for me, you know, the industry, and I'm as old as the hills, but I've been in the industry now for 50 plus years, and um, I've had fun. I've lived and I've had fun. I've lived in 11 countries. I have had a really, really exciting, different, diverse career that has taken me to many destinations, many different situations, but most of all, the people, the customers, the clients, the staff that I've worked with, the environments that I've worked in have been dynamic and life-changing. And, you know, there are people that say, you know, well, why would I want that? Well, here's the thing. At the beginning of this presentation, I asked you to align what it is that you want versus what the industry has to offer. Mm -hmm. If you are a person that wants to travel, that wants to see the world, get paid to do it, meet great people, work in environments that are going to attract, that are going to reward you, that are going to stretch you, that are going to challenge you, that are going to give you opportunity to sparkle and to shine, then the last one, fun, fits into, ticks all those boxes. And often I give an analogy where I kind of think that the hospitality and tourism industry is a stage. We're all actors, really, is what we are. Um, the destinations and the job roles you find yourself in are your screen parts. Um, years ago, I worked for Disney in Florida and Anaheim in California. And, you know, I always wanted to work in Disney, and I did, and it was fabulous. And, you know, working with Mickey Mouse and his friends was life-changing. So, you know, when I sit back and look at the years that I've been in the industry, I truthfully sit before you and say that if you like the five areas that I've spoken to, and you can see yourself in most of those boxes being ticked, then serious consideration should be given. And I'm very uh, open to any questions. Uh, there is a huge transparency. Um, please feel free to ask anything that you are not sure about, and I would be delighted to help you. And finally, to conclude, being a student here at the Academy is rewarding, fun, and liberating. You find who you are, and you find the things you like, and you find the things that you don't always like and you build on those things. So you become a much more rounded professional. We give you those foundations and we love doing what we do. Thank you.
All right, um, now it's my turn. My name is Alejandro Celli and I am the Associate Director of Marketing and Enrollment for the Emirates Academy. Um, I'm here to tell you a bit more about uh, the Emirates Academy of Hospitality Management and the programs that we offer, um, but also um, about all different aspects about studying in Dubai and working in Dubai afterwards. Um, just a few things uh, before I continue. Um, in case you have any questions, you will see in your webinar dashboard a uh, tab that says questions. So you can use that tab to start typing uh, any questions that you may have so far, especially questions about the five reasons of, uh, for studying hospitality uh, that David just mentioned. Uh, and we will answer all those questions at the end of this webinar. Yeah. So now that we have established the, the five main reasons why it, it is a great idea to study hospitality. I want to tell you a bit more about why you should be studying hospitality in the Emirates Academy of Hospitality Management. Um, first of all, we are a higher learning institution that is offering business degrees with a focus in hospitality management. And besides being, besides, I mean, we are a great school. And the reason why we're a great school is because we have a different vision of hospitality. For us, hospitality is more than just hotels and restaurants. It's about elevating people's experiences or creating people's experiences whenever they enter a hotel, a restaurant, or a business. We see a world where the customer is at the center of everything, especially in the business world. Um, you really generate a profit whenever your customer comes back to your business. So. When, when we take a look at hospitality, for us, hospitality is a set of skills that you learn in order to make people happy and to make your customer happy. So whenever you learn those skills and you put them into practice, whether that it's working in a hotel, in a restaurant, or if you have your own business, um, you, you will have a competitive advantage uh, compared to any other candidate applying for a job or compared to any other business that is running in the market because you'll have the secret to the secret or the skills to make your customer happy and I think that's that's very important and that's how we see and how we understand hospitality uh, more than just managing hotels and restaurants it's really about managing a business that is that has a customer at its center as a school, we are 17 years old and we are a local school from the United Arab Emirates, accredited by the Ministry of Education here in Dubai. Um, we have, have also an academic association with Ecole Hotelier de Lausanne, which is the oldest hotel school in Switzerland. And, and we allow our students uh, to go study in Switzerland for up to one semester at some point throughout their degree. And that also makes our curriculum amongst the best in the world. And finally, as a school, we are part of one of the biggest hotels groups here in the UAE, which is the Jumeirah Group. Uh, and because we are part of such a big group, uh, we are very well positioned within the hospitality industry here in Dubai. Um, many hotels and employers know about the Emirates Academy and the fact that we have the, the best talent pool of students and, and future professionals uh, for them to be recruited after they finish their degrees uh, and, and join, and, and join uh, hotels and the workforce here in, the, in Dubai. So that's very important. Um, so what do we offer? As a university, we offer two main programs. One of them is a Bachelor's of Business Administration. Some of you might be interested in, in, in doing your bachelor's degree at, at Emirates Academy. This is a business degree with a special focus in international hospitality management. It is a three-year program that includes a six-month internship. So during your first year, you will learn all the key operational subjects within hospitality, such as food and beverage preparation and food and beverage service. So that's in case you would like to work in hotels at some point in the future, but also front office operations and housekeeping. On your second year, you will be ready to go and start your internship in one of the hotels here in Dubai uh, or in the rest of the UAE or even internationally. And that's your time to put everything that you have learned in your first year into practice. Once you finish that internship, um, you will continue on 
into the third year, will you be you will be taking the more strategic uh, subjects that are related to business. So that's where you learn how to actually run a business in the hospitality industry or a business in general. The MBA program, on the other hand, it is a program that is designed for working professionals or for fresh graduates that just uh, that just finished university and, that, and would like to continue directly into a postgraduate program. The MBA is a one-year degree um, that has also flexible timings, which will allow you to work and study at the same time. Our MBA is structured in a way in which you will be taking classes three times a week uh, in the evenings from 6 to 9 p.m. So during the day, you will be able to not just work on your subjects, but also perhaps if you're moving into Dubai, you will be able to also work full time if you manage to find a job the moment that you arrive. Throughout your experience at the Emirates Academy, for sure, you will count with and the support from our career services and industry industry relations department that will allow you to find your internship but also to find a, a, a full-time job while you're here. Dubai, just like um, David mentioned in his presentation, it's really the new frontier of hospitality. So just imagine, I don't know if you guys have been here in Dubai, but whatever you see, uh, in Dubai, you will see constructions, and most of these constructions in Dubai are hotels. And being the only hotel school in Dubai, surrounded by hotels, really puts us in a great position for us to place students in jobs after graduation. Uh, and that is reflected in our, um, gradu and, uh, our employability rate, which is 97% within six months of graduation. What that means is that the moment that you graduate, from the Emirates Academy, you have almost guaranteed a job. And that's and not just because of our location in Dubai, but also because we're very well positioned in the industry as being part of the Jumeirah Group and, and being here for 17 years, really serving the hospitality industry in Dubai. Um, that's all from my side and with regards to residing, studying, and working in Dubai. Um, now it's the time for us, for you to ask us questions uh, related to the topics that we have mentioned here in the in the webinar before we go into that and, and i hope you start uh, asking your questions in the in the question tab before we go into answering your questions we would like to ask you a few questions for us to get to know you a bit better so i'm going to start launching uh, a poll uh, with five different questions uh, and you'll have a minute to answer so i'm going to launch the first question now this is for us to get to know you a bit better First question would be, do you want to study in Dubai? So we're going to give you one minute to answer that question. Perfect. Thank you so much. We're going to go now to the next question. Do you want to study hospitality? Yes or no, or you're still deciding? You have one minute to answer. Uh, all right. Perfect. Thank you so much. We're going to close this question. Now, next question is, which program are you interested in? Is it the BBA program, MBA, or the EFL program, which is the English as a Foreign Language program, in case you want to um, gain some confidence on your English language skills before joining the BBA or the MBA program? Please let me know. Huh? Almost done, fantastic, I'm, not, I'm going to close this poll and we're gonna launch the next question. When do you want to start your degree? We have three intakes per year, one of them in September, another one in January, and the other one in April. If you're interested in starting in September 2018, 
please let us know as soon as possible because we need to start receiving your application. <laughs> All right, 54% of you guys have voted already. I'm gonna wait a bit longer for you guys to submit your answers. If you're still interested in uh, starting in September 2018, there is still time for you to apply. We still have a few seats left. So um, once we finish the webinar, we will get in touch with those of you that replied September so we can get you on board with your application. Thank you. I'm going to close this poll and launch the last one. And this is my favorite question, actually. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? I'm actually looking forward to receiving your questions, uh, sorry, your answers. One thing that I forgot to mention before, um, if you're interested in uh, starting your uh, degree in September 2018 um, and you have attended this webinar, um, the application fee will be waived. So just let us know the moment that you apply or submit your application that you have attended this webinar and we'll waive the application fee for you. Um, so just let us know on that. Awesome. So 67% of you would like to be working with an international company. That's fantastic. So it seems that hospitality could be actually the degree for you. I'm going to close this poll. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, now it is time for us to do some Q&A. Um, I'm going to take a look at your questions. Perfect. Just bear with me one second. All right. So now is the um, now is the time for us to answer all your questions. I'm just going to right now close the camera for one minute. So first question is from Amir Hussein. Is it true that Dubai has the largest number of five-star hotels? I'm going to leave uh, uh, Dr. David Botterton to answer the question. Uh, it's me again. Good afternoon. And it is true that Dubai has the largest number of five-star properties and growing um, month by month. And as I mentioned in my presentation, um, we have the largest and most significant number of pipeline projects which align with five and six. And of course, there's the Burj Al Arab, which is a Jumeirah property. It's our flagship property. That is a seven-star property, so significant. The answer is yes. And the beauty is five and six-star properties align you with other global players in the same market bracket. So it is true, and um, we have the most, and uh, they, you are prepared significantly for that alignment with the integrity and the standard of uh, operating practices and thinking that puts you into a strong position to compete for a five and six star placement in a job opportunity. Fantastic. Thank you so much, David. Next question is also from Amir, and, and he's asking, what is the student life like in EHM? And I would like to answer that question uh, together with my colleague, Jade Moxley, Hello, who's here. Hello, how's everyone? Hope you've enjoyed the webinar so far. <laughs> Um, what I can tell you a bit more about uh, what I can tell you about student life is uh, first of all I want to tell you about our campus because our campus is in a great location in Dubai just across the Burj Al Arab Hotel seven minutes away from the beach and I think that says a lot um, our students are usually very busy with uh, uh, class work uh, during the day but then in the afternoons they're really free to use the campus facilities that we have we have a pool we have a gym on campus and we also have a tennis court and a basketball court on campus so students um, take advantage of those facilities and on top of that because we're such uh, in a close vicinity to the beach uh, our students also enjoy the beach uh, when the weather is not too hot in the summer um, around the campus we have also um, we are located just across Jumeirah Beach Road which is a really nice street with a lot of coffee shops and restaurants that our students like to explore but Jane, tell us a bit more about student life also on your perspective. What do our students do? So student life, student life in Dubai is amazing. I myself um, went to university in the, in the United Kingdom and if I'd have had the opportunity to study 
in Dubai, I 100% would have. I have lived in the UK, I've lived in Spain and I've lived in Dubai and Dubai has been by far my favorite country to live in. It's just such um, a hub of creative people. Um, there's so many different types of people in Dubai. Everyone's super cultural. Everyone's very outgoing. It's just a very friendly and extremely safe place to, to study, to live and to, um, to work. There are so many places around the academy um, from obviously tourist attractions, um, as well as restaurants, as well as cafes, as well as shopping malls. You really can't um, get bored in Dubai. It's very difficult to get bored. Um, I myself, I like to go to the mall at the weekend. I'm a bit of a shopaholic, but then I also love just relaxing at the beach, um, doing very chill things with my friends. There's a lot of theater shows here. Um, you may have heard of Cirque du Soleil. We have La Pearl here in Dubai. We also have opportunities to do skydiving, um, swimming with dolphins. There's just so much cool stuff to do. So um, surfing, kite surfing, paddle boarding, skiing um, in the Mall of the Emirates. They actually have a room that is full of snow and you can actually go skiing and snowboarding, which is just unreal. Um, so yeah, you'll never get bored in Dubai. It's the best place to be. There's loads of different people here from all over the world. Um, it's a very safe place to live in and you'll just be super happy if you study in Dubai. Nice. Thank you so much, Jade, for helping me answer that question. Fantastic. Next question is from Bella, uh, asking for the address of the school in Dubai. Um, Bella, we will actually send you the, the address of where we are located by email um, and just after we finish this webinar, okay? And so for you to have it. Uh, Otherwise, you can also look at it on our website, emiratesacademy.edu. You'll find our location there as well. But we'll be happy to share with you later on. Mm -hmm. um, next question would be, what type of payment plans does EHM offer for the students? It's a question asked by Amir. And this is a great question, actually, because we haven't touched the topic of tuition fees. Um, we offer different payment plans um, for students. Uh, of course, you can decide to pay the entire uh, program in advance and you can actually benefit from specific discounts if you pay the three years uh, of the VBA program in advance or the entire amount of tuition fees for the MBA program in advance. You can also pay per year, all right, in case that you're doing the VBA program you can do it in three payments or you can also pay per trimester or you can even pay on a monthly installment per year. That means that every year the full amount of tuition fees of that specific year will be divided into nine installments. Now that's if you would like to pay per month. So uh, we're very flexible when receiving payments and um, uh, for sure, uh, the moment that we get in touch with you, once we know you have been accepted to the program, we will show you on paper how these payment uh, plans look like. And so you can share them with your parents or your sponsor. And great question, Amir, thank you so much for that. Next question is from Bella. How much is a short course of hospitality? How much is a short course of hospitality and how many years? So um, we spoke about two main programs. One of them is the BBA, the other one is the MBA program. The BBA is three years long, and the MBA is one year. Now, if you will, if you're interested in one of our short courses, which is basically the um, executive education that we offer to individuals or to companies. And we have a plethora of different short courses uh, ranging from, let's say, one day to several weeks. And you can find all, the inf all that information in our website. Uh, we have around 40 different uh, programs uh, with specific courses that you can benefit from. And all of them are on our website. Hmm. That's a great question, Bella. Thank you. Another question from Amir. What are the requirements for international baccalaureate for a student to join the Emirates Academy? Um, the main, uh, I mean, the main requirements for you to get the diploma. So for you to get the diploma, uh, you must score a minimum of, of 24 in the IB. Uh, and for sure, you have to have uh, three high level subjects uh, together with the three standard level uh, requirement, uh, plus the TOK, okay? Now, since we are a boutique school and we have a very limited amount of seats, just having 24 points in the IB will not be the cut. We really want you to strive for a higher um, score because whenever we're reviewing applications, we're looking at uh, a, a great talent uh, pool of applicants. 
So we're going to choose the best ones uh, to join the Emirates Academy. So don't just uh, uh, aim to get a 24 in your IB, uh, or to aim at least a 30 or higher. Next question is from Bella again. Tell me a bit more about campus accommodation. Uh, campus accommodation. So we have more than 220 rooms in our student accommodation here in the Emirates Academy, available for students coming from outside of the UAE or even residing here in the UAE. Uh, it is optional, so if you don't want to stay in our campus accommodation, you, you, you can actually uh, rent an apartment here in Dubai, but I can tell you that it's really worth it. Um, our location in Dubai is very privileged. Just, I, as I said before, it's seven minutes away from the beach and just across the Burj Al Arab Jumeirah and really in the center of a lot of things that are happening, uh, just like uh, Jade mentioned. So by staying on campus, you can really benefit from not commuting. <laughs> So you can literally just wake up and go to class uh, in the mornings uh, and then go to the beach if you want. Uh, our accommodation it's com is, is are basically studio rooms. So, so our students don't share unless they specifically request for um, a sharing studio. And these studios are self-contained units uh, in which you'll have your kitchen, you'll have a fridge, you'll have uh, your own bathroom, your own bedroom. So you don't have to share with anyone if you don't want. Uh, to do that, uh, and you'll have everything that you need. On campus, we will also we also have a mini mart where you can buy some basic groceries uh, for you to eat. Uh, but in case that you don't find specific um, things in that supermarket, you can also just take a taxi to the nearest mall, which is literally 10 minutes away, small of the Emirates, uh, so you can buy, buy more groceries there. Um, our campus accommodation also have a gym. And as I said before, uh, a basketball court and a tennis court. So you really have everything here. Um, with the fees that you pay for accommodation, um, everything is included, included internet um, and all your bills. Next question is from Sadia. Please guide me uh, throughout the fee structure of the BBA program. We will send you the BBA structure uh, by email. Uh, so you can take a look at it and if you have any questions you can then send us an email back so we can give you a call and tell you specifically about the EF, uh, about the BBA program fees. Next question is from Siddiqua. Um, is that for MBA as well? So 97% employment rate. Uh -huh. Yes, so if the 97% employment rate is for the MBA, yes, it's for both of our programs. Um, which is actually the, actually the highest employment rate here in the UAE across all the universities. We're very proud of that. Next question is from Xi. So freshly, so it, she's, uh, she is asking um, whether you can uh, join the MBA program directly from your bachelor's degree and the answer is yes. We don't require to have a minimum working experience, but if you have working experiences, also great, but uh, if you want to join directly, you can do so. Next question is, would you please explain more about student life uh, and expenditure? Uh, we already, that's from Mohammed. Mohammed has left. Uh, I think it's very important for us to talk about student life and expenditure. Uh, I mean, we talk about student life, but uh, how much would it be for a student um, in terms of expenditure living here in Dubai? Um, it really depends on it really depends on, on, on your preferences, your personal preferences, right? Um, we believe that if you have an, a nice balance so between transportation, if you're not living on campus, let's say, but between food and other expenditures, between two thousand to two thousand five hundred dirhams per month. Um, that equals to approximately that will be in US dollars. How much you know that? And 2500 dollars. So divide yeah. by five, so it's about 500 US. It's uh, around 500 US dollars uh, per month, but that's just an estimate. It really depends on your, on your personal preferences. And once you apply to the program, and if you know that you have been accepted, we'll be happy to actually give you a call and plan basically uh, what could be your expenditure. And I mean, you can tell us your budget and we can help you out. Uh, on, on on giving you an, a better estimate just before you join the program. 
okay you will also have the opportunity to with your visa to Dubai you'll have the opportunity to work part-time so that could also help you on your on your on your finances how can you apply for a scholarship? Zoya Khan is asking us. Uh, the first step is to apply online. Once we know that you're eligible to join the program, we can tell you also about the different scholarships that we offer. Just for you to know, we have two different scholarships. The first one is the Jumeirah International Scholarship, which is 25 to 50 uh, or 50% 50 of the tuition fees for the entire program. And for you to apply, um, you must have uh, a very high GPA uh, above a 3.4 um out of four uh, which is um the, the american scale we can give you exactly what's your requirement based on on the type of curriculum that you have done in high school or in university um but it's a merit-based scholarship and we also have the emirates academy scholarship which is up to 30 percent of the tuition fees um in which once you apply we'll give you all the requirements and we'll send you the scholarship application that you need to submit um we still have scholarships available if you are interested in applying for the September intake. So get in touch with us after the webinar if you're interested in, in one of these scholarships and would like to get more information. Next question is from Anushri Iyer. Could you please throw a light on the MBA criteria? Great question. So for you to be eligible for the MBA program, you must have completed or about to complete your bachelor's degree. Um, so we will take a look at your uh, university transcripts and, and your diploma and you must have a minimum GPA of a 3.0 to be eligible for uh, the MBA program. At the same time, you, ha you must meet the minimum criteria for English, uh, for English proficiency, which is an IELTS, IELTS of a 6.0 or a 79 TOEFL internet-based test. Okay? If you have more questions on the requirements, um, you can also take a look at the website on the specific MBA page requirements. Uh, you'll see them written in case um, uh, you need, uh, you, you, and you can also download the requirements in case you want something on paper. Uh, thank you for that question. Um, it's actually a good question. Um, one second, let me just read the next question is how many seats are available each year for the MBA program? Um, since we're a boutique school, we have a uh, 200, around 250 students based here uh, across all the programs in our campus. Uh, every year, and just for you to have an idea, we enroll 70 to 80 students joining the BBA program. Um, so it is actually a very, very selective application process. Uh, we take a look at uh, not just your grades, but your interest in hospitality. So for the September intake, we still have uh, we still have uh, seats left, and if you're interested in applying, and you can apply before all is first, in order for you to have enough time to um, do your onboarding and join classes by mid-September. Thank you for your question, Amir. Next question is: Do EHM take us on trips and field trips uh, as part of uh, the, the curriculum. I'm going to leave David Butterton to answer this question. Hello again. Um, and great question. Some brilliant questions. I'm sat in the background. Um, yes, as part of our curriculum activity, field trips and um, trips generally out to both the industry, industry related areas um, in all of the sectors are mandatory. So we include those. So as a, an instructor, we write in um, materials that are going to give you a better opportunity to experience and feel. So we're going to take you out, but also just to mention, we're also going to bring experts in. So that's also an important opportunity for you to network, for you to ask questions and to have the comfort of the learning environment with regular uh, guest speakers from all areas of the industry who come in and meet you, talk to you, and you get an opportunity to integrate. So it's a both in and out opportunity to enhance the learning experience. Awesome. Thank you so much, David. Um, what are the admissions requirements for international students? This is a question asked by Malhar Salvi. This really all depends on the type of curriculum that, uh, that um, you have studying. So um, if you want, Malhar, um, please get in touch with us after the webinar, and you can tell us exactly What's, uh, what's the curriculum that you're doing? And we'll let you know what's the minimum grade that you must have in high school or in university 
based on what you, uh, uh, what type of curriculum you have studied. Um, just for you to have some reference, uh, talking about, for example, the American high school curriculum, um, the BBA program requires a 2.5 GPA, which is approximately a 60% out of uh, 100, basically. Um, for the MBA program, it's a 3.0 out of 4 uh, GPA. Okay, but uh, let's just take that question uh, offline, Malhad, and we'll be happy to uh, answer uh, based on the curriculum that you have studied. Next question is, what are documents required apart from the diploma if you don't belong to the IB diploma? Great question, Zoya. So as a general rule of thumb, um, we will require your transcripts from high school or university, okay, together with your the final diploma or the degree that you must have at the end of uh, that degree, okay? So for example, if you're studying uh, for the B if you're applying for the BBA program, we'll, we'll need your high school diploma together with the transcripts from the last three years that you have completed, uh, together with an English proficiency test score. So it's always your grades from high school or university plus an English proficiency test score, okay? Same applies for the MBA program. We will need your transcripts from university, your degree, um, together with your English test scores, okay? Thank you. Amir asking for uh, how many IB points uh, do we need for the scholarship? Um, that will be the equivalent to a three point, um, uh, to a 3.6 uh, GPA in the American system. So we'll make a conversion of what's the equivalent in IB uh, points. Now, when we are reviewing scholarships, um, it is not just based on your IB points, all right? When we take a look at scholarships, we will evaluate your soft skills and your interest and passion for hospitality and your motivation for studying this degree at Emirates Academy and in Dubai. So we will get in touch with you. You will have to write a personal statement when you will be talking a bit more about yourself um, and, uh, and the reasons why, basically, you would like to study hospitality, okay? So it's more than just your grades. Just I'm just gonna read this next questions. Just bear with me, guys. Great question from Ahmad Gabani. Are roommates picked randomly in the accommodation? And they aren't. Um, if you tell us that you would like to share accommodation with someone, we will actually take a look at what other uh, students are also interested in sharing accommodation. And before we, we, we pair you in a specific room, uh, we'll make sure to put you guys in touch um, just to see. I mean, we'll, 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 uh, we'll make sure that um, you at least get uh, 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 that, that, that you will get uh, the, room and the, the roommate that, 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 you, that you want, if it's possible, okay? For sure, we won't be able to accommodate, uh, to accommodate this. Um, it'll be on a first come, first serve basis, basically, on a case by case basis, sorry. It is compulsory to give IELTS or TOEFL. Yes, it is compulsory. Uh, next question is, do we study three trimesters per year or two? It will be three trimesters per year. It's a trimester system, so um, it, will be, it will be three trimesters or three terms per year, Ahmad. We're about to find, finish all the questions. So the last two questions, one of them is from Anushri. Okay, so this is with regards to the minimum GPA. We have already answered this question. Um, and uh, in case you have, so Anna has what can you do? Yeah. IBA. So the, the minimum grade will depend on the type of curriculum that you have studied, Anushri. So we will get in touch with you after the webinar. Um, our um, assistant manager for enrollment, Riman, will, will get in touch with you and answer your specific questions depending on what curriculum. And last question is, again, from Mohammed. Uh, you have a BA in English literature. What about, he has two now, he just sent one in. And then send me a program. Okay, Mohammed, the last question, the last two questions, uh, since they are very specific to your case, I'm gonna make sure that uh, our assistant manager for enrollment, Riman, will get in touch with you and answer, and answer them, okay? Based on your, on, on the grades, uh, in, your, in the specific curriculum that you have done in your, in your specific application, okay? 
Um, we don't have any more questions, and I appreciate uh, your interest uh, in the Emirates Academy. Um, now, just to wrap up, uh, I just want to uh, make sure that you have our contact details, especially Riman's contact details. She, she is our enrollment manager. Um, you can uh, WhatsApp her or email her any of any, any questions that was not answered during this webinar. Um, especially if you're interested in applying, guys, um, there's still time for you to apply for September, um, but just make sure that uh, I get in touch with us. Um, we're almost done with the webinar. I just want to thank you once again for tuning in. Um, and uh, in case you would like to, um, something I forgot to mention, um, here in your webinar, you'll have a dashboard that says handouts in which you will find specific collaterals and information that you can download and keep, read um, for yourself. And this is general information about our, our BBA and MBA programs and about accommodation. Um, it was a real pleasure for me to uh, conduct this webinar, webinar together with uh, our colleagues, David and Riman. Uh, and uh, we look forward to receiving your application hopefully very soon. Thank you so much, guys. Thank Goodbye. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and Werner, thank you.